Hello guys, this is Ethan from Jingle Mining and today I will be unboxing and review this unit which is the Flu Miner T3 and uh, mining bitcoins here yeah? and it comes in with a hash rate of 115 terahash as a power consumption of 1700 watts It's pretty efficient and uh, its efficiency is very competitive Anyway, we're gonna see and uh, actually you can uh, compare this with the Avalon Q and uh, of course we're gonna see the actual performance and to see is this suitable for home mining the profit how much bitcoins you can mine a day and of course the setup material and let's begin and uh, you see it comes in with the power cable and here is how it looks like and also, you probably seen somewhere else, you saw it was uh, gold, right? But uh, Flu Miner actually changed the color to uh, black. It's the same with the Flu Miner L1. Anyway, here is it looks like. Here's the side, Flu Miner's logo. And here is the back. And um, yeah, on the back, we have the um, power port. And uh, here is the Wi-Fi signal booster, yeah. And uh, here you have the Ethernet port. Of course, when you setting it up, you need the Ethernet port first for the first time setting up. Anyway, uh, that's it. And uh, on the front, oh, you have nothing on the front. Here is the inlet side, and here's the exhaust vent. Anyway. Now I'm gonna teach you how to set up. It's very easy. So first, connect your uh, power cable and uh, the Ethernet cable. And now we need to go to your computer and first make sure your computer is connected the same network as your miner. And then, if you don't have this app, you need to download it first. It's called uh, IP Scanner. So the purpose of this is to find the IP address of your unit. And uh, you scan it, and after you find the IP address of your unit, take the IP address into browser to uh, access the backend of the Fluminer T3. So it requires you to put the D for the username and the password which they're both root, R-O-O-T. And after that, you're gonna be in the backend. So the first thing we need to do is to do the pool setting on the left, yeah? So right here, putting the uh, pool address and your wallet address, and uh, you can put uh, different ones at uh, two pool and uh, two three, yeah? So you see right now, I'm using BIA BTC, this mining pool, and uh, then just submit all right, and uh, that's it. Wait about a couple minutes, and uh, if you see there are hash rates on the dashboard, that means your unit is running. So, okay, and uh, if you wanna do wireless mining, right, you don't want this ethernet cable in your unit, then do your Wi-Fi settings here. So just putting your Wi-Fi's name and the Wi-Fi's password and submit. Yeah, it's quite, easy and uh, that's it i've already set it up and running for 20 minutes already so now it's running at its full force and uh, as you can see right here the power consumption is 1740 something right so it's a little bit over than it says uh you see the current hash rate is 139 tera hash it's pretty impressive but Anyway, we uh, step by step, now we're gonna test how's the noise level of this. So, I'm gonna go into another room, which is there. So, I'm gonna walk in with my microphone on and uh, walk it back. And I will show you on this device. Okay, so, I'm gonna leave this room and entering this room. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in. Can you guys tell the difference? So now I'm about one meter away and uh, I will stop talking. Hold 59 decibels. I mean, it's not massive loud, 
but honestly it's not that quiet it's a bad idea if you want to run this at your living room or a bedroom but if you place it at another room or like a garage or uh, you know you can you can barely hear the thing out of it so I think you can call this a home miner though yeah it's running at its full force and it's been running for 20 minutes and now I'm gonna test the temperature on the surface first so okay on the surface you have 73 uh, 73 Fahrenheit and now I'm gonna do the exhaust vent look I will point directly at its exhaust vent okay which is 93 Fahrenheit it's all right I mean it's not impressive I mean it's the average level anyway what's really important is not the surface temperature is the heating dissipation right because you don't want your units like overheating in a hot region or a hot weather so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place it into a big heater and uh, I will heat it up I will make the ambient temperature to a crazy temperature and uh, we just need to see at what exact high temperature the flu miner T3 will be off alright guys and I'm all set so let's begin well I, I place this upside down because it doesn't have that much room anyway so here here it shows the uh, temperature inside so we just need to see at when it's gonna be off and uh, you're hearing this is running already, so let's wait. All right, and as you can see now, the temperature inside is increased to 40 degrees. That's almost 120 Fahrenheit, and our flu miner T3 is still working perfectly. But let's keep going. It has increased to 80 degrees, which is around 200 Fahrenheit, and our flu miner T3 is not even throttling. Yeah, the the real time hash rate keep at 120 something terahash. <laughs> In the ambient temperature of 90 degrees, our flu miner T3 is still running. That's incredible. Look, it's not even throttling. The real time hash rate keeps staying at 120 terahash. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna turn it off. And to prove that I'm not lying, I'm gonna test the uh, surface, the temperature of this unit right now. Yeah, ready? Two hundred Fahrenheit. If you test the exhaust vent, two hundred ten Fahrenheit. Um, in in our YouTube channel, I've tested all those units. Look, all those units, including the massive power consumption ones. This, for now, until now, is the best performance of the heating dissipation test it reached it to 90 degrees so i don't think it will easily overheating and uh, also it doesn't um, produce massive heat you know it, you you can use it as free heat in the winter and in the summer you just open the open open the window up and uh, that's it there's no much massive like a uh, heat, uh, heating effections but anyway his performance is really really impressive all right guys and as you can see my flu miner t3 has been working for one day and 21 hours and 30 minutes and the average hash rate is 119 terahash is pretty good i mean it's meeting the standard even above the standard the standard as the ad said it was about 110 terahash right so okay we take this 119 terahash to via btc pool and uh, right here we can see i can mine about point zero 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 four nine nine eight btc which about point four oh five btc right and based on the current coin price as I'm speaking, one bitcoin is worth eighty-six thousand dollars, 
but it was 100,000, right? We all know that. Anyway, I can earn about $4.33 if I run this Flu Miner T3 for 24 hours. But also, you also need to calculate your electricity cost. So if, if let's say your electricity rate is about 8 cents per kilowatt hour, then running this machine for a day will cost you $3.26. That's pretty big, I mean, based on how much you earn, right? But that's not what we should focus on. Not your daily profit currently. It's your amount of coins you mined. So actually, this 0 0.00 zero zero five btc for a day is not bad actually it's pretty good i mean the machine is very efficient and the power consumption is not massive it's 1700 it's a bit too it's a bit much yes but it's not too much and uh, a lot of people will compare this unit to uh, avalon q which is a very very popular model right and actually, I think Flu Miner T3 can beat a, a Valen Q. First of all, it has a hash rate increased, right? It is 115 terahash of this uh, Flu Miner T3, right? A Valen only has 90 terahash. And they both share the same uh, co power consumption, which is 1,700. A Valen has 1,674 watts, but it's the same thing. Right, so the daily cost is the same. I think Flu Miner T3 will beat Avalon Q, but uh, also, of course, the selling price of the uh, of the miners, uh, the Avalon Q is cheaper than Flu Miner T3, but it's just a couple a couple hundred bucks cheaper. All right, I think it were it's worth to spend this couple hundreds. What you guys think? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for the video today. I can't say it's a perfect miner for home mining because it's pretty loud, but uh, it's more it's, it's more efficient and uh, yeah, it's more profitable. Let me know how you guys think of this, how you guys are gonna choose. And also let me know how you guys uh, want to see in the next video. And also, since we are talking about miners all the time, go to jinglemining.com and select your favorite miners. I am Ethan, I will see you next time.